Hey guys, it's me, and uh, I'm under a desk. What am I doing? Well, installing a bunch of keystones today. And I figured it'd be a great idea to kind of do maybe a how-to video, but also do a mini review of the StarTech keystones that I use, because these things are awesome. So, to begin with, you know, we're just going to strip our cable. Now, most people tend to use standard strippers for these. Um, the standard strippers. I don't. Do, I don't do that. I use these. You know, they're great for cutting cable, but they got a nice curve, so you can strip the cable without much hassle at all. I mean, they're really sharp too. They'll cut right through that like nothing. And then I'll get rid of the uh, little piece of Kevlar. Let's attach to these. I hate this little Kevlar. It's great for, you know if you have to strip down a little iron, but man, they get in the way all the time. So once I do that, I'll separate out the cables, you know, and then I'll split the pairs. So it's, you know, white, blue, blue, white, orange, orange, etc., etc., etc. This doesn't take much long to do. And what I pre-do is I still try to keep them together, and the reason being is because when we do this, we're going to pull them through part of the keystone, and I'll show you that when we get there. Just going to get these cables nice and good. Now, once we're separated out, we've got the keystone. Now, what it comes with is it comes with your standard installation guide. Gives you pin littering and stuff for the back. Don't really need that. Why? Because it's got all the info in it. This is a tool that helps you push the punch down. It goes in like this. And then you just, you can push this in if you need to. The thing is, I never use it. We may use it today, who knows. After I said that now, I'm probably going to use it. And then it comes with a zip tie. A zip tie is for this back piece. And what happens is, the cable goes in through the back plate, through this little hole here, and then you just wrap the zip tie around the hole, and your cable going through there, and then you basically hold the cable in place. So to show you, I already untwisted it, but I'm going to go ahead and bring them back together. I'm going to shove it through that little keystone hole there. And once it's in there, we can actually start with the actual process. So we're going to go ahead and zip tie it in place now while I still have a free second too. I'm just in an awkward position. It's kind of awkward for me. So I'll get that in place. Alright, once it's in place, the cable's nice and firm and tight. So we're going to go ahead and start now with this. It's actually an easy setup. All you got is you got a couple of color codes here. You just match the cables up and kind of get them in place through the teeth that are right here. Now you can't see it too well in that picture, but we set it up and then I'll kind of move the camera into place. But I use B network here, so we know the orange and green has to be on one side while the blue and brown is on the other. So, give me one second to do this.
nav in the place. And you'll hear it snap. Finished keystone. 